In this exercise, I'm going to use the sample MEP project located in the common folder on your DVD. From your startup screen, click on Open, browse to your common folder, and double click on the sample MEP project. In this exercise, I'm going to browse to level 2 HVAC plan. So from the project browser, scroll down until we find HVAC design floor plans and double click on level 2 HVAC plan. From here I'm going to scroll in so I can view the north end of the building. To move a single object, simply select it and from the modify tab, click on move. I can now choose a base point. I can now click to enter a start point for my move and then drag in the direction of the move. As you can see here, the tooltip is telling me that I'm moving horizontally. You can also see a temporary dimension. Where a temporary dimension is shown, I can type on the keyboard the distance I want to travel and press enter. Another option for moving is selecting the object and dragging it. As you can see in this method, it is far less accurate than actually specifying a distance. However, once this has been dragged to its new location, we can now see some temporary dimensions. These temporary dimensions are based off nearby objects. As these objects are the building grid, I could change these figures to suit my own purposes. So that's easy. That's one element. Let's look at moving one or more elements. I want to move these supply air diffusers and all the connected ductwork. I can create a selection window that selects those elements and then click on the move command. As before, I select a start point and then a distance. As all these elements are connected, this vertical duct has been stretched rather than moved. So this maintains a relationship between objects that are connected. Let's try that for a diffuser that's connected to a flexible duct. If I click on move, the flexible duct flexes. I'll try that one more time. The flexible duct still remains connected to the diffuser. The same behavior occurs if I use drag. Now let's look at the copy command. Selecting an object gives me the option to use the copy command. Here I've got some options that are displayed on the options bar. Let's start with the first copy. As with the move, I click on a start point and then specify an offset for my next point. Let's do that again. Select the object, click on copy. Now let's click on constrain. When I click on copy, I'm now constrained to one direction, either vertically or horizontally, but it's not giving me an angular direction. I can still type in the distance. This is much more accurate than just doing the straightforward copy. Finally, from the options bar, if I select an object, click on copy, then click on multiple. I can select my start point, type in my offset, and I can carry on copying those objects while the multiple selection is still highlighted. Once I've finished doing my copy, I can press escape or just click on modify. I can copy multiple objects in the same way as I could move multiple objects.
scroll into the area where I want to work, select the objects I want to copy, maybe use the control key to add to my selection and click on copy. Here I just want to create one copy. I'll uncheck the multiple checkbox on the options bar, and then click on my start and my endpoint.